Hey, what's going on everybody here? Welcome to another ATS video. I'm FTG Full Tilt Gaming. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Do all those things that um, every YouTuber out there asks you to do. Anyway, I've got a special video here for you today. So you guys have, uh, I've been kind of talking about here in our past videos uh, of a new custom 900 that I got my hands on. So from Facebook by Mr. John Ruda, I think it's how you say Ruda or John Ruda. Uh, I'll link his Facebook page in the links if you want to go to all you need to do is the same way that all any of these others. This is a payware. I know there are going to be people that don't like that, but um, what I'm doing is showcasing what I feature in the live streams. It's up to you whether or not to purchase any of this stuff. I'm really, really not here to argue about whether or not you think payware mods are legal whether or not you think uh, and Kenworth is going to chase him down for um, the, the minuscule amount of money that he's making on this mod. I, I really don't care. Uh, so therefore, I probably would just not allow the comments that deal with that because this video is not nearly for me to just push someone, but it's for you guys to have the information so you can see exactly what this truck has, what customization it has, so you don't go blindly into a mod thinking, oh man, it's going to be so great customizing it, doing all this stuff, and then you get it and you're like, but I can't do anything. What a ripoff. Da, 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 da. And then you come fuss at me because you feel like I didn't represent a product for Fully and truthfully and honestly so I just want to preface all my pay where um, video mods with that this is not a discussion of whether or not you think it's good practice or whether or not you think it's legal because I don't care um, I really don't I mean I don't you know you're not donating any money to me to give you this I'm doing this out of the goodness of my own heart uh, to be able to make sure that other guys go into a purchase knowing exactly what they're going to get and giving you guys a, um, a, a legitimate review on the mod so that you guys know what you're walking into anytime you go into a payware mod. That's always been my mantra, and it'll always continue to be. So if you don't like that, there's plenty of other guys streaming free trucks. You go watch one of them. Um, so anyway, with all that said, let's look at this. So this is custom 900L. This is also a heavy haul uh, uh, 900. So this is definitely default. I mean, definitely not default. Definitely different than what we normally have had here with the SES 900. Although the SES 900 is just fine. Um, there may be guys out there that want something a little more custom, a little more feels that, you know, it's, it's different. So... On the front, let's go ahead and look at what we've got here on the terms of customization. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you this truck does not have a lot of customization. I will say what it makes, what it lacks in customization, it makes up for a good solid truck. Um, if you're one of those guys that just has to have, you know, 50 bumpers, really 49 of them aren't, aren't really all that usable. Uh, and you have to have, you know, 50 exhaust stacks, but really you only use two of them. If, those, if that's the kind of guy you are, this truck probably is not for you. Um, so just, just, just saying, there's only one sleeper. So we the air caps. You don't have any, you don't have any options for studio sleepers or day cabs, which would be nice. I will say, I would love it to see a work truck. That's got the eight by four would like to see that in the day cab version, especially with heavy hauls, something like this. You probably wouldn't see necessarily a sleeper on this style of a truck, but yeah, you know, pulling something like that, it'd be like, Oh my God. So you've got uh, six by fours and eight by fours, top cables, bottom cables nearly mean that your cables attach on the cab. Uh, versus them coming right out of the frame. Obviously, the frame is the coolest and it looks the best, so that's what I usually do. But you can also do 6x4, which looks good. It makes it look like it's a stretched frame. Of course, I guess probably it is. Um, or you can roll the 8x4 and it automatically puts your fenders. And this is a tag axle, by the way. So, um, And you have to use the wheels that come with it, but we'll get into that. does feature a few engines, N14s, the CS, the um, the ISX engines, the C15, also features the 3406E, which comes from the engines and sounds pack. I don't know for certain if that's that 3406 is from this truck or if it's from. Now, this truck also does feature its own sounds, so there's a lot of realistic sounds in this truck as well. So it's not just your default kind of you know cheesy sounds. I mean, it's got some legit stuff, which we'll hear on our drive around. Um, and then we've got the N14, 3406, and then we got the DDS 550s. So it's not a huge amount of choices on this thing. I don't know if any kind of engine packs are going to work with this truck. I would say, obviously, if the 3406 is from the engine and sounds packs, then some of these work. Uh, but this is one of those trucks that overwrites a lot of that because they are custom sounds to those what otherwise would be normal default, you know, truck cab, I mean, a truck engine variant. So... Uh, just kind of keep that in mind as you get on. I, I can't promise you everything about that, uh, about the engine sounds, because I've got a lot of mods in mind. But I will say that none of those really show up for this. Eaton Fuller, the 18-speed, we've got that in there. 
Uh, decent on the pull power, so it's got a couple if you want to do 13s, 10s, 6s, and 8s. I mean, it's all the standard stuff. And you do have a couple of, uh, you could do the regular style shifter, you can do a long style shifter. There's really no interior mods besides uh, well, what you see is what you get. This one does not have anything else special uh, inside of uh, you know, doing anything funky. So uh, it, this is kind of what you get right here. Which it still looks good, just to get me wrong, it just doesn't have customization to it. One paint job comes with it, but it also comes with the template. So if you're pretty good at changing stuff around, even if you can open this template up, you could probably do a fairly decent, quick color mask on these things. You could probably change some colors um, in here as well, depending on the resolution of the template. Um, you could change this skin up to feature some, maybe your own company skins that you might be doing, or I don't know, whatever. But it also has custom metallics, which are just fine. I mean, I don't mind a solid color truck. There's plenty of them that are solid, um, especially like, you know, putting in uh, like a dark navy in there oh and dark navy has kind of become my new my new thing I, i'm not exactly sure why it's almost like a purplish but yeah you can see i mean it's just it's a clean clean custom truck so aside from that let's talk about accessories there's not a lot we got a couple of bumpers um and you've got basically the standard the flat one that's on every single truck uh that comes with this little curved bumpers there i think the texas something on the other ones it's got a custom one with a nice big old fat profile here to fit your wheel. And then it's got one that's a little bit thinner, which this is one of my faves here. You do get some side lights on here. So if you want to do side lights or if you want to do the side light LEDs, uh, the LEDs obviously are, are really nice and bright. But this one is more like a um, uh, more like a, a halogen regular look there. And then, of course, you've got the LEDs. Now, I will say this is, um, as well. This one comes with a truck flare pack that has to be in there. So right at the end of this, uh, or right after, before we actually do the drive, I'm going to show you there's a few things that this model comes with that you're going to need to make sure you put in the right place. Um, so you've got side lights here. You throw a couple of LEDs up there. You've got warning flags. If you're doing something like what I am, you can go ahead and put the default warning flags up on the front, which is not a huge customization, but it is what it is. We do have a couple of different visors. So if you want to go the complete custom route, you can. Uh, really kind of blocks off your view. I'm not a big fan of those, but that's just me. One set of mirrors, one set of passenger mirrors, no stacks, no anything up here. The light does come with the truck. Uh, so does this. All of these come with the truck, uh, and your beacons come with the truck. Your side lights come with the truck. Everything that's a part of the truck goes with the truck. Um, your back thing here, uh, forget what you call that, the headache rack, toolbox, whatever, um, that is all part of the truck. That's not an accessory, and you cannot change them even if you have those doesn't matter they're not going to show up on the truck and they match the truck in paint so you can't really do anything to that you can't change the trucks uh, on the uh, down here you can't change the the chrome versus paint versus aluminum or anything like you can on the rest of them you can't take this off so just got to go in this got to go in this knowing there's not a lot of customization you know it's a really nice drives wonderful uh, it feels really good when you're driving it feels weird it doesn't feel fake um but um, but yeah, you got to go into it understanding that, that, that it's not uh, a, a big, it's not Outlaws 379. Okay, let's just let's just go ahead and call it what it is. Uh, American, there we go. So it kind of comes with its own wheels and its own tires. Now all of these have their own lug nuts, so you can scroll up. Uh, you can use the the WL um, the W900L, all this stuff, hubs, everything. It's got really good looking hubs. All right, y'all caught me in one live stream using these wheels on something else that wasn't a Kenworth, but these will work on anything else. So if you even uh, wanted to say use these wheels and put them on your own Kenworth or a 900, that's the default game. Um, whatever it does not matter. Um, but it does have license plate. It's got a few of these in the front as well. Um, Idaho, Maine, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana. New Mexico, New York, Ontario, Utah, and Washington. So it's got a few in there. Not a lot. Uh, doesn't have all 50 on there. And from my my recollection, it is not compatible with uh, SISLs or CISLs or however, CISLs, however you say that name. Uh, it's not compatible with any of his accessory add-on packs, DLC packs, anything like that. Or, um, yeah, any of the dash plates, any of the window plates, none of that stuff is compatible in this truck. It's kind of like its own standalone custom truck. And also, the you do have quite a few steering wheels. Now, the steering wheels I have are the steering wheel creations pack, so you can use any of those steering wheels in here, which is at least nice you have that customization. But you also have a couple of Kenworth steering wheels as well. So whether or not you want to roll classics, you want to roll you know, carbon fiber kind of custom stuff, 
you know, you can do the you can do these, which most people say, well, that's not very realistic. So it's up to you if you want to use the custom stuff. Um, but you have a custom uh, a wheel here that matches your wood grains and your interior colors, as well as kind of your old school Kenworth standards. Your moderns, you've got your older Kenworth, which what the other one was. And there's about four different of those steering wheels. Um, so aside from that, uh, this is what you've got. This is what everything is with the lights on. Um, so you can, these 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 do, um, if this truck is above your other ones, uh, it will work in that capacity. So let me just, let me go ahead and confirm this order. And then let's go back to my profiles here and I'll show you guys a few of the, um, a few of the mods that you're going to need to watch out for and make sure that they're in the right um, priority. So anyway, all right, on to the truck. Let's do it. Turn our accessories on. Yeah, got her. So you got a trailer. You can see you got your trailer. It's really like trailer brake um, instead of trailer air supply. You got your park brake for all the sounds. Listen to the gear change sounds. Sounds like it should. Flashers have a custom field tool. Obviously, you're not going to run the beacons. There's your uh, high beams, which we don't have. Turn some lights on. Look at the, the, the light box. I've, I've kind of put it where it is. You can see our beacons are going there. And uh, we've also got our light box. Now, if you flip on the high beams, see, there you go. So you got your upper light there. So you clip the high beams off. You've got your middles there. Plus, you've got that other running light on the top that comes on. This is really kind of cool. So anyway, however you want to run that. But this is what I mean, the truck flares, the light packs. You know, it's got a nice reflection off everything. It reflects custom off of the actual truck itself. And as it's running, you can actually hear this all the time. Like, it's cool the way it just kind of comes in and out. So, all right. Let's go, uh, I'm trying to figure out, go back to, uh, back to our main view here. All right, so let's go, uh, let's go pick up this, uh, let's go pick up this trailer. I think where this truck lacks in customization, I think it makes up in the immersion of the truck. So if you like um, having the, the feel that you're really in a truck, I think this one does a good job. strong either.
no real great way to pull in here. We'll do the best we can. All right, we'll go ahead and pick up this. Uh, should be. Oh, they've, they've moved it already. All right, we'll just pick up pipes. That's no problem.